Okay, when I'm starting today, I decided, yeah, I need something down here on the bottom, so I added this little bit of brick exposure. And now I'm going to paint it all with this concrete bonding adhesive. So this is what I'm going to do. Just paint it over, and then I'm going to give it a coat of the stucco cement slurry mix. Next move. Okay. Yeah, this bonding agent is white and it's hard to see where I'm painting, so I don't know if it's a no no or not, but I did it. I took a couple drops of black paint and put in there so I can kind of tell where I'm at because, geez hard to see. So, did I paint that or not? But anyway, just thought I'd pass that on. Okay, I used a mortar mix here and I did add a little bit of Portland cement. I can't tell you how much. I just threw some in just to make it a little richer. And I, it's about the consistency of paint. See that or not? There we go. And now I'm just gonna paint that on over the top of the bonding agent. In case you're wondering, I guess I should have said that after I painted on the concrete bonder, I started here where I started with the cement and worked my way around the panel. And the time I got to the end, it's tacky now and it's starting to dry, so it's good enough to start applying the cement. So, and the brick pattern, I will come back. When this dries and use a uh, dry lock on it that I stained red with this here, it's liquid color fast, brick red. I guess that's in focus. Anyway, that's what I used. It's a liquid concrete coloring. And what's that? Hopefully it dries in time where I can put the red on the bricks tonight. Yeah, I hope. It's getting there. Okay, so it's supposed to be storming by the time I get off work. So I'm going to start painting this this morning. The red brick color with the dry lock. Just painting them on the bricks. And this is how it's going to turn out. 